Hey, good morning, everybody. How you doing out there? Oh, let me adjust these blinds. It's not right, is it? Whoa. Oh, it's not much better. There we go. There we go. All right, grab some water. Make sure you fit well, ready for exercise. Sorry, there's a little bit of delay today. A few technical issues. We're going to do a hip workout today. We're going to do it nice and easy for those people doing hip for the first time, okay? Or if you're returning to exercise or any joint pain, I'm going to go through these. Don't do anything that's going to hurt you. We're going to see what we can do, okay? Build up this way. Hip works, workouts are great. It's full body workouts. We go top to bottom, working all those muscles, getting a burn, getting the heart rate up, nice and fired up, and uh, tapping into our energy supplies in our body. Let's go. Ready? And on your feet for a warm-up. Drink. Onto your feet. I've got to get that sorted. Oh, I'm all over the place this morning. Right, get yourself ready for a warm up. We're just going to throw out some punches. Nice long punches, out they go. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one up above the head. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Out to the side, alternate them arms. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This time, place your feet wide. Give yourself a little pat on the back. Just loosening up, just throwing that arm out. As it starts to loosen up that spine, lift that heel, look around behind. And five, four, three, two, and one. This time, chin up, stick your butt back. We're going to reach down to the opposite foot. We're just going to work between them feet, like so. You don't have to touch that feet. You just have to alternate those arms for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring yourself up, okay, into some squats. So feet shoulder width, chest nice and high, getting that bum down and up, keeping the knees apart. Looking out in front and six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hands on hips, alternate lunge, step and return. And step, other side and return. Keep it going. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Now we you point your toes to 10 o'clock. Arms to two o'clock, hit the switch. We're just going to get the heart rate going. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reset, jumping jacks, out and in, bent elbows. Let's go. And seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. High knees. Start with the march and then lift them up into them jogging high knees. Nice and high with them knees. And we're going to turn it into butt kicks in three, two, one. Flick up them heels. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, one last thing is the sprint finish. Let's go. Ten, five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake you off. Have a time out right there. Whew. Good. And breathe. Get our breathing back on track. Big breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And repeat. They start to feel a bit more under control. Get them breath settled. Go find your water. Okay, so while you're recovering from that little warm up, it's going to tell you what you're going to do. So, my version of HIT, especially a beginner's HIT, what we're going to do is we're going to do 10 exercises in a row. You're going to do them for roughly 10 repetitions or for 10 seconds each exercise, depending on the exercise. And you're gonna give it your, your all, okay? You're gonna work really hard for that 10 seconds. 
and then you're going to get a little moment of rest before you move into the next exercise. We're going to fire that heart rate up, and then we're going to try and let it come down, give it minimal rest, and then we're going to fire it back up again, okay? We're going to work that heart. We're going to work every muscle in your body. And what we're going to do, because it's a beginner's one, is we're going to work through each exercise. Now, if I was doing this for uh, intermediate or advanced, what I would do is I'd put a collection of exercises together for the same muscle group, and you do them in a row, and they start to get harder and harder. But in this way, what we'll do is we'll move through. So we'll go lower body exercise. We'll go an upper body exercise. We'll do a cardio exercise. We'll do an abdominal exercise. Okay, just gives you a little bit less intense pressure on the hip. A little bit less uh, time under tension per body part. Okay, hopefully you're well and recovered from there. We've got to fly through this because I started late today. Let's just adjust this slightly. Head down so we can see everything that's going on. One more sip of water before we get into this. And because it's beginners, if you can't do the full 10 seconds, you can't do full 10 reps, just do as many as you can while I'm doing the 10, okay? We're gonna start nice and easy with a squat. If you haven't done the squat properly before, go see my squat tutorial. I think I did it last week, maybe the week before. So it'll be a 2023 one. Okay, bring yourself out into your workout space. We're going to start with a squat, so get your feet shoulder width, toes slightly turned out. Chest nice and high. We're going to do 10 squats, okay? You're just going to get your butt down, leaving your butt, leaving your chest high. Three, two, one, and 10, and nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Kick out them feet. The next exercise up is a press up. So you're going to take yourself down. We're going to do a press up on our knees for this one. So get your hips forward if you can. Hands underneath your shoulders. And we're going to do 10 press ups. Let's go. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop up onto your feet. Next one up, third exercise and ready. We're doing jumping jacks. So we go out and in. Let's go. 10 seconds of this. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. Starting to breathe heavy already, yeah? Okay, we're gonna do a lunge next. Alternating lunge, so hands on your hips. Step forward, right foot, down, back. Left foot, down, back. Come and join me, let's go. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and one, good, kick off them legs. Moving it back to the upper body on the arms. We're gonna do dips, so take yourself down. <clears throat> Place your feet on the floor, bend knees, hands directly underneath your shoulders. Don't sink your head into your shoulders. Pop yourself up so your butt comes off the ground. All the weight now is through my feet and through my arms. Take your shoulders back, and you're gonna bend your elbows back and up, okay, 10 times, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and down. Roll yourself over, we've got a mountain climber next. You start off in a sprint position, and you're gonna rotate them legs, okay, so we just switch. Switch and we just keep doing that for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Up onto your feet. We're going full body with this movement. Again, we did this in the full body beginner's work earlier on in the week. So straight legs, slightly wide, 
start up high, you're gonna hinge at the hips, you're gonna walk out. If you wanna do a little press up here, you can do a press up. If not, just walk it back and up. We're just doing five of these, okay. Here we go, four more. Down, out, press, back, three more. And up, let's go. Out, press, and back. Two more to go. Out, down, press, and back. And up, this is the hardest thing you're doing today, right? Down, out, press, and back. And that's the end of number five. Good, this time we're gonna take that cardio a little bit deeper. We're gonna do a squat jump. In position, you get your butt down and you take off. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Do as many as you can. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Kick out them feet, get a little rest now. Take it down onto your back. We're going for an abdominal crunch. If you want to do it with assistance, just pop your hands above your head and throw them forwards as you do it. If you're doing a normal crunch, lift them shoulders, pull that belly button in, and we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, almost there now. Last one is, it's the burpee or a squat thrust. Okay, if you wanna do the full one, the burpee looks like this. You're gonna take it down, feet out, back, and into the air. If you want to do the abridged version of that, you can do the squat thrust, which basically has you down here, extending the feet back up 10 times. Okay, what we'll do is we'll do the burpee first. We'll try to squat thrust when we go back the other way. Okay, 10 of these in three, two, do what you can, and one, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, do as many as you can. Three, we get a break next. Two, and one, and time out right there. Good work, good work. You should be breathing heavy. Doesn't matter how many reps you did. As long as you're breathing heavy, you feel like you got some work out there. It's all good. Now breathe in, it's recovery time. And then what we're gonna do, if you're up for it, is we're gonna start at the end and work our way backwards. We'll do less reps each time. We'll do eight seconds or eight reps per exercise. Let's we'll see how many you can get done. If your breathing's back on track now, go find your water, have a sip. Good work, your heart should be firing. There's many different ways to do a HIIT workout. This is the one I particularly prefer. So you can dial it up, as I said. You can add more reps per set. You can go higher with, you can go 12 exercises, 15 exercises, make it as long or as short as you want, and intense or as chilled as you like. Okay, so we're gonna go back the other way now. Hopefully your heart rate is recovered enough. Have a little walk off. Shake it off. Okay, this time we did burpees as the last exercise. If you wanna do burpees, that's fine. We're gonna start here with a squat thrust. Eight squat thrusts. So it's gonna be feet together. They go up, they go out. We do it eight times, okay? Working our way back. The exercise after is gonna be the walk out. So we're gonna do five of those. Right, first thing you first is squat thrust. Eight reps in three, two, one. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Up onto your feet. We're going for that walk out. Tell you what, we'll do four. Just going to come down, hinge at the hips, walk out, press, and back. That's one repetition. All the way up. Walk it out. Press. Back. There's two right there. Two left. And back. And up. Last one. Walk it out. And press. And back. And up. Well done. Shake it out. Okay, this time we're going to squat jump. Just eight repetitions. Take those feet shoulder width. Chest nice and high. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go for the rest time. Down you go. Into that crunch position. We're going for eight crunches. Just then hips. Pull that belly button down. Get yourself ready, shoulders off the ground, belly button in. Three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And relax right there. Roll yourself over, we're going for mountain climber next. Just eight seconds of mountain climbing. Start as a sprint position, you know this one. Three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Then you go, spin it around, sit on your butt, fingers pointing forwards, lift that butt off the ground. Don't sink your head into your shoulders, get your shoulders back. Elbows point backwards each time as they bend. Let's go. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down, there's your dips done. Back up onto your feet. We're going for lunges. Hands on hips. Eight alternating lunges, and we're off. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Going for a cardio one now. Get the heart back up again. It's jumping jacks. Out and in. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it off. There's only 10 exercises remaining. This one's a press up. Do it on your knees. Eight repetitions. Get your body weight over them hands, hips forward, abs switched on, and we press. Eight, seven, six, five. Just make sure your chest is coming down. Three, two, and one. Last one for the finish is just a squat. I'll show you from this angle. Feet shoulder width, chest nice and high. Getting that butt down, leading, and up, one. Two, keep that weight over your heels. Four, four, three, two, and one. Kick it out. Well done. Shake it off. Time out right there. Victory's ours. Let's take progress. Did a good job today. Well done, people. Go grab your drink. You smashed it. So we did the 10 exercises on the way up. We're doing all the way back. We just reduced the reps. So you can play with this quite a lot. You can increase the reps. You can do 15 reps, 15 seconds per exercise. You could do a lot less if you find it difficult. Go for five. Just whatever you're doing, make progress. Okay, if you do it a second time, a third time this week, just try and add a rep, add a second, whatever it is to it. Try and find that little thing, that incremental change it's going to give you the progress you need. Okay, right, we're going to have a little stretch off now. 
that was your beginner's hit. Up onto your feet. We did full body in this, so what we do is we just start at the top. Keep your feet wide. Take your thumbs together and reach directly up and stretch. Squeeze your shoulders to your ears. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. This time, take your fingers pointing down, sitting just on your butt, and you're going to squeeze your elbows back and towards each other. And hold there, open up that chest for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, suck out them hands. Out one, three, two, one, and in, three, two, one. Take your feet wider, one hand on your fire, rainbow, the other one over. Let's get into that lateral oblique for five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go the other way. Over it goes. And hold for five, four, three, two, and one. And back we go. This time I want you to cross your arms, stick your butt back, chin up. And if we're doing that, sticking our butt back, you're gonna feel the backs of them legs, them hamstrings. Stick that butt back, maintain a nice flat lower back. It's not about reaching the floor like this, that doesn't do it. It's about keeping that chin up, feeling tension along here on that stretch. Four, three, two, and one. Pop yourself up. This time again for a quad stretch. Stare at a point on the floor. That'll keep your balance. You're going to grab that ankle, pull that heel to your butt, and hold it in nice and tight. If you want to increase the stretch, just squeeze your butt. And five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Other side, up it comes, heel to butt for five, four, three, two, and one. Traditional finish, cry kid styley. Circle out one, two, three, and in three, two, one. We go to the other side, up and out one, two, three, and in three, two, one. Give me that kick. Hiya! Boom! We did it. Well done. Hope you enjoyed. Beginners hit. Come back, do it again. Try and increase your reps each time. Try and increase the time. Stick a couple of other exercises in, whatever you find easy enough to do. And I will catch you guys later for more. Ciao, ciao.